Hi, this is Jeff Lesher with What's the Point? And you may be asking yourself, what is up with the hat? Well, this is actually one of my favorite hats, but there's a question associated with it or with this one. So what does it mean? What do you think of if you see somebody wearing a hat like this or potentially a hat like this, which is a great hat from a handmade hat maker in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I bought it many years ago. I love to wear it. It's got a couple of peak seasons. We're in one of them right now. And so I'm just getting in some hat time. And I've used the hat before in videos with great effect. But if, if you saw somebody on the street and they were wearing a hat like this, you may draw certain inferences or conclusions because of bias. If you saw somebody wearing a driving cap backwards, you may draw inferences based on bias and they likely are different than the ones that you just drew with a guy with the so-called Western hat. Now, why is that important? Well, it's important for a lot of reasons. One, because we live in a country where for some reason, and, and I say country because culturally we are governed by the norms of the region and the region in this context of the United States where we have an ongoing so-called culture war where we're either not allowed to acknowledge bias because that's calling everybody in the country a racist or on the other extreme we all have to acknowledge essentially original sin. Now neither one of those is necessarily true or accurate and therein lies the problem especially when we sort of lower ourselves to name calling and the reality is there's a lot of stuff and i use that term in place of a an unfortunate word there's a lot of stuff that lies just below the surface in too many of us case in point some of you may have heard this there was a high school basketball game last week in norman oklahoma and one of the teams made up of young high school women knelt during the national anthem, which you're allowed to do, by the way. There is no requirement to stand. There's no requirement to take your hat off. That is made up stuff that we subject people to and the Constitution of the United States protects us from doing so if we choose not to. And similarly, if we choose to, then that's our right. These women knelt. And the people who were paid to broadcast this game started talking trash about them. And then one of the gentlemen, and I use that term advisedly, used a, a profanity and the worst racial slur that you can utter against African American or black people. And he later, and I'm gonna use air quotes here, apologized, but really not because this former youth pastor who was concerned about embarrassing his family and his friends, but not calling these young women effing N words, you can look that up. He blamed it on having type one diabetes. Now <laughs> I have a late, very, very close family friend who suffered from that illness. It is devastating over time. It is no joke. And at no time have I ever read, and I've done some research on this, that uttering a racial slur is part of the circumstance involving a sugar spike. And, and I saw my Granny B in a lot of distress situations. She never called me an effing N-word or because of my Jewish background, an effing K-word or anything like that. Here's my conclusion. It can't come out of you under any circumstances if it doesn't reside within you in the first place. So go back to the point of unconscious or implicit bias. We all have them. That is part of living your life. Bias is not racism. It is drawing conclusions based on evidence that you have of other things and you mash it up to draw potentially other conclusions. The awareness of this bias is important so that we can manage it. And if you want to hear more about this in a really intelligent way, look at some of the Senate testimony so far 
of a nominee for the Justice Department under President Biden named Vanita Gupta, who is being assailed for telling the truth because she's saying essentially that she hates her country and that everybody in the country is an effing racist. <laughs> That's the extreme on the other side. We cannot advance as a society, and this is 100% a business issue. So if you made it with me this far, I'm talking to you as a business person, as a business leader, as a member of a community. We have to get away from name calling on either extreme and focus on what is true and deal with that. It does not suggest that we're all bad people or that the vast majority of us are bad people. In fact, and I've said this before, if you look at the polling data on most primary issues in this land, there is much more agreement than disagreement including about things that seem so polarizing as gun control, as Second Amendment rights. Look it up. The stimulus bill that was passed with zero Republican support because they didn't want to vote for something, and Democrats are guilty of this too, has significant support among the people that all of those people who voted against it are elected to represent. That's messed up. That's people more interested in their longevity in a role than functioning well within the role. If you're a business leader, do not fall into that trap. It is wrong. It is wrong. You are, even if you own your company, if your goal is to remain in power versus do your job, you're doing it wrong. And when it comes to issues of bias, and prejudice, if we deny that it exists in some form or can, then these things caused by type one diabetes or something else are gonna keep emanating from us because we can't rid ourselves of that bias or control it unless or until we acknowledge it. And by the way, that's not bias, that's freaking racism. So there's a difference between the two and you can see it when it is shown under that sort of harsh light of honesty, whatever the circumstances. Mark Rowan, you're a bad dude and you're a liar. And so get out of my face. But for the rest of us, let's listen to our hearts. Let's examine what's in our heads. And then let's take action that matters by just trying to be better. Because that, ladies and gentlemen, is as always the point.